Vontae Smith out, Slay out for week 18. We're going to talk about Pro Bowl finalists and the alternates, wild card weekend scenarios for the birds. You know, what can the Eagles do to be a little less transparent and go on a run in the playoffs? Could what A.J. Brown said this past week spark a fire for the birds? Look, man, stay tapped in for all that and much, much more. Look, man, just in case y'all forgot, this is who I am. This is right here is what I do. This is the Diamond Crew. But I want to give a shout out to my G's and my OG's. But you already know what to do. But if you're new to the channel and you like content like this, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like. I need you to comment. I need you to subscribe. I need you to share this. I need you to hit that notification bell so you always up to date. Look, man, first thing first, injury report. Devontae Smith, Darius Slay are both ruled out for week 18. Um, DeAndre Swift is questionable with the illness. Um, Zach Cunningham, Jordan Davis, Avante Maddox, Hassan Reddick, all full participation and should be available for Sunday's game. And that's only if Nick Sirianni want to play the starters. So let's talk about the Pro Bowl selections for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, we have um, Lane Johnson, A.J. Brown, Landon Dickerson, Hassan Reddick, Jason Kelsey, and DeAndre Swift. Look, man, shout out to those guys. I want to give a, a, a real good congratulations uh, to DeAndre Swift. Um, this is his first Pro Bowl selection, and this is what he had to say about that. Call my mom, call my dad, and uh, call my friends and let everybody know. What was your mom and dad's reaction? <laughs> My dad was at work. He had ran out, ran out the gym, started yelling. Mom saying, "What? Well, everybody's just excited. Being from here, being able to do it in my hometown um, for the Eagles, it means so much more." All right, man. Let's talk about the Pro Bowl alternates. We have Jalen Hurts, Dallas Goddard, Josh Sweat, Jeremiah Lada, Cam Jurgens, Jalen Carter, Darius Slay, Britton Covey, and Jake Elliott will all serve as alternates. In my opinion. Um, Covey and Elliott was the two that was a bit snubbed out the Pro Bowl. They both should have made it, but hey, it is what it is. And what the heck do I know? But look, man, the Birds need help from Washington. They have to beat Dallas if we want to win the division for the second year in a row. It seems to me that Washington will be resting their starters. So that's becoming more far fetched, in my opinion. Um, if this scenario happens, then the Birds will also acquire the two seed from the strength of schedule tiebreaker over the Lions, meaning if they maintain the same record as the Eagles. Um, the Eagles will then uh, have a home game throughout the playoffs. Uh, another way to win this division is if we tie the Giants, the Cowboys lose. Um, if the regular season was over today, the Eagles will be a road team throughout the playoffs, and we will have to go on the road to play the Bucks. Um, if the Eagles remain the fifth seed after week 18, they will play the winner of the NFC South which would either be Tampa Bay or the New Orleans Saints. Tampa Bay plays the Panthers and the Saints play the Falcons. And both of those teams are looking to win to get in. If both teams win, Bucks win the division because they have won the prior matchup this season. So I'm going to keep you updated on what actually happens after week 18 and who will be the opponent for the Philadelphia Eagles wild card weekend. You know, as we all know, AJ Brown has not said much to the media, you know, after this rough, rough stretch of games, excuse me. In this past week, he finally broke his silence. This is what AJ Brown had to say when he finally spoke. I uh, didn't uh, speak to the media after the game because, uh, you know, I didn't want to be negative, you know. You know, I, 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 I had already transitioned to the mindset where uh, we were going through a tough time. And so me personally, the person I am, uh, who just know uh, I just have to go back to work, you know. And ain't nothing I could do about it, you know. And uh, like, like I said after the game, I said I was raised. If I had nothing nice to say, I'm not going to say nothing at all. So I'm not just about to continue to compound the negative with the negative. So you guys can write more negative stuff. Like, you guys watch the game too, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you guys already know. So that's why I was like, there's nothing more that I can say 
you know, just to, I'm not trying to make it worse than what it is. And so, you know, and then on top of that, you know, everything that I do, if I say something, I do anything, I'm, I'm, I'm classified as a monster, you know, <laughs> honestly, you know, and, it, and, it's, and it's honestly the, the, the opposite, you know. You saw my frustration on the field. It wasn't about the play call. It wasn't about none of that. It was about my guy getting banged up. And we're going to need, I'm going to need Smitty moving forward. There may be things that Nick probably want to fix about himself, and, and, and I'll say, but one thing I can't respect, loyalty is not one of them. And I say that because um, he takes up for us when it has nothing to do with him. And uh, he gets the blame, but that comes with, with, his, with his job, you know? And, and sometimes Jalen does the same thing. And uh, just like Brian, he get the, end, the wrong end of the stick sometimes when it be us. But as I, like I said today, the coaches played play zero snaps this year. It is not the coaches, it is us. And so, like I said, if one person goes the wrong way, the whole play is over with. And, and as you guys see, it is glimpsed. It is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is highs and lows, it goes just like this. And so that's why I feel like, that's why honestly, I feel like we are close. We are close to, to continue to continue to get better and continue to, to, to take that next step. Can AJ Word spark a fire to get this team back on track? Look, in my opinion, I needed to hear what he said, not because the media. Uh, I needed to know where his mindset was, you know, where he was at with his coaching and also as a player. You know, he is a team captain and, and we rely on him heavy. Um, as you can tell, A.J. Brown holds himself to high regards and wants his fellow teammate available moving forward. You know, him shaking his head was because Smitty was also hurt on that play um, because he was blocking when he should have been a target downfield. But that's just my opinion. So A.J. believes uh, that it's on execution and not on coaching. But I still believe that coaching plays a big part in our downfalls. Uh, finally, A.J. Brown's words hopefully can spark the team, you know, and get on a run so we can get to this Lombardi. But look, man, y'all leave a comment. Tell me how y'all feel about what y'all heard from A.J. Brown. You know, definitely tell me how y'all feel about the Eagles moving forward. You know, in my opinion, the Eagles need to change some things up to get back to our brand of fo football and back on track with this offense and this defense. Offensively, we need to get more creative, throw some, some motion in the scheme, you know, change the way this offense looks, make defenders use their eyes and confuse them a little bit. It seems like they know what's coming. We only motioned five times last week. I'm not saying motion every play, but some, some things, something has to change. Um, too much 12-man personnel, man. We need some more opportunities for different pass catchers on the field. You know, I, I like the way we used uh, Julio um, last week, but, you know, a big question is, where is OZ? He has been MIA since uh, that great play, you know, that he made against the Bills. We only play him around 27% of the time. You know, we stay in this 12-man personnel with Jack Stahl in the game around 60% of the time. And everyone knows he's not a pass catcher. He's strictly a blocker. You know, Stahl has only four targets this season. It has um, not been targeted since week 12. You know, we got to change some things up. We got to change the way the scheme is rolling. Defensively, I'm not completely sure there's much we can do to make this side of the ball work. You know, we simply have just not been good for most part of the season, you know, except the beginning. You know, it all starts on Thursdays downs with me, man. We're getting off the field. We have to do that. You know, we have to tackle better, which will help stop the run. You know, basically, we have been terrible. You know, we used to be one of the best teams at stopping the run, man. I'm not sure what's happening there and why we have regressed so much so fast. We have to get pressure on these QBs. Um, which will help our cornerbacks out, you know, because a lot of the time, you know, Slay hasn't been available. Um, James Bradbury probably needs to get benched, in my opinion. Um, so we, we need to help these linebackers out. And, you know, in my opinion, we can do that by, you know, turning up the pressure a little bit um, on these quarterbacks. You know, uh, you know, last year we was a 70 sack team and, and this year we have to get we have not been the same, but we have to get pressure on these quarterbacks moving forward, man. We have to keep Hassan Reddick out of coverage. We have to keep him moving towards the, the quarterback, man. Like, like, what are we doing out there? Like, whose decision was it to drop Hassan Reddick, you know, in the coverage? 
Um, you know, this is how he feel about, you know, being in coverage. Uh, man, right now we just trying to get things done to win a game. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just doing what's asked of me at the end of the day uh, and trying to help the team win and with whatever way we can win. Um, so if that's what it calls for, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do it. I'm going to go out there, uh, do what's required of me, uh, do what I'm asked to do at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, hopefully that, that plan works. And Look, as you can tell, man, he don't want to he don't want to be in coverage. You know, he make his check by feasting on the bones of these corner of these quarterbacks. Excuse me. Pause. That's what he do. And that's what we, we need to make sure we keep him doing. And if we were able to implement these few things as soon as Sunday, I think this team can make a run. Now, I'm not going to be delusional, but I do think we have a chance. Man, the season is not over until it's over. And that's a fact. So I have to at least say that we have a chance. You know, every team in the NFL has had a bad stretch of games. So anything is possible. We just We just never know how it's going to look from Sunday to Sunday or Sunday to Saturday, you know, whatever, whatever day it is, um, you know, after this week, every team that's involved in a postseason will be zero and zero and this win or go home after that. You know, the Eagles have been a good road team for majority of the season, you know, besides this last few stretch, this last couple games, you know, we have, we haven't looked the same, you know, but at the same time we have what it takes to get good again and to get this team rolling again. And like I said, if, if we can do that, then we can make a deep run in the playoffs and we have the opportunity. But if we can't one, two, three, Cancun, <laughs> that's basically what it is. And, and, and in my opinion, in my opinion, either one of those is a possibility right now um, with the way this team uh, has been playing. But look, man, I don't want to hold y'all too long today. I think we're going to just go ahead and, and, and keep it right there. But please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you always up to date. And you always know when I drop these videos or I drop a surprise live, you just never know what's up, man, because how to stay working. I'm always working. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all do all that. Um, but until the next time.